Kyle Busch doing it proud tonight, running fourth behind McMurray, Harvick, Trouble. and the leader, Jimmy Johnson. Trouble in turn four, Casey Kane with a hard hit again. That was with his teammate, Brian Vickers. If I saw that right, Kane took a double hit there. He went up to the yeah, top side and then down to the inside. See him moving in the car, and there goes the wind in. That's a good sign. Man, he hit hard. Wow. Casey Kane, one of those guys that started this day with an outside, really outside shot at trying to make the championship, but. See the Another two one. teammates racing side by side, but Marcus Ambrose gets into the left rear of Brian Vickers. His teammates on the outside, nowhere to go. Uh, Casey Kane's had a very hard night here, getting hit a couple of different times. Hard licks here. And just like you said, Dale, it's more three wide entering the corner than I remember here. A lot of aggressive driving. That was a race for 26th position. Not normally somewhere that you put yourself in a three wide and it wasn't even a door or but really a open. slide opening there at all that that Ambrose you know. Now there's a little follow up there. Out, him for no, that. I don't blame him at all. Let's see right here. Oh, yeah. NASCAR has told Brian Vickers to take that car to the garage area and keep it there for a while. I think that's where he was headed anyway. And he will have a little huddle with the officials afterwards at their request. You get in that position, though, you're not really concerned about all of that. For some reason, you guys just don't seem to consider that op or that and possibility. Not with what's on your mind at all. You're pretty angry about the situation and, and what happened. And is it right to, you know, pay back with the race cars in these situations? You know, everybody has a different opinion there. But I can assure you, as a competitor sitting in there, and you feel like you've been done totally wrong, uh, you're ready to take action right then. 